Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and today we're going to take on the Cheapskate Challenge. That's right, we're going to try and beat Backpack Battles as a Berserker by only buying on sale items. Let's get right to it and see if we can make it happen on sale pig right off the bat. Uh, let's see, do we get anything else on sale? We do get a haste bag on sale. But you know what? These sales are not looking great this first round. Oh, and a lump of coal. Oh, might as well keep it with the plus one damage there. I mean, we'll go ahead and get started. Can't buy a stone. It is not on sale. So there is, I tried this challenge a couple times off camera. There is one stipulation where I can buy items that are not on sale, and that's going to be bag space. It's virtually impossible. You get very lucky, I should say, when you find bag space on sale. Ooh, get ourselves a shield there. Uh, so to eliminate that problem in a broom, nice. I can buy bag space if it's not on sale, but to do so, I have to sell that much gold worth of inventory. That is the only way I could think to make it fair. If you can think of a better way to kind of keep the spirit of the challenge alive, definitely going to buy that, definitely buying the Goobert. But again, I don't have the bag space to uh, house the Goobert at the moment, so he'll just hang out there for now. Uh, but yeah, that's the best way I could think to, to keep with the spirit of the challenge and still make it possible because otherwise you're just sitting here with your starting bag trying to squeeze everything in there. First rounds are obviously kind of tough. Uh, I could go for torch instead of broom. I do like that idea. And then, ooh, I'm the game's calling me a liar right now. It's uh, giving me all the bag space on sale that i need and a box of riches on sale which is huge uh because that is extra Ooh, another berserk or wooden buckler can't fit it anywhere in the bag though so we'll we'll stick without it actually you know what could i do that probably works better because the activations of this wooden buckler do count for goobert so every time the wooden buckler goes off that counts as a charge for goobert which means potentially, I mean, we could get every time they attack with a wooden sword, uh, Goober gets a charge. All right, looking good now. Much better than the last two rounds anyway. Got a respectable little bag here. Uh, but yeah, most of our money will probably be going into... Hmm, leather bag. I don't think I'm going to keep going with this. That's two, three... Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have sold that last one because I can sell piggy bank and then have enough to buy it. But now I'm one gold over, so I guess I just lose that gold. That's the only thing that makes sense to me in this circumstance. I'll buy the whetstone. I don't think I will need it, but it'll give me... Uh, I can buy a second wooden buckler there. I don't know... That's two, that's two. Yeah, I don't think, I guess I am still one gold in the positive here. I could sell both of these and buy that stamina sack. Maybe I do that. That's probably a better call in the long run. So yeah, we'll do that. And then, yeah, nothing else. I don't think I want to spend two gold to reroll. Not yet anyway. I don't think we're to that point. Hopefully this is enough to keep us. Oh, it is not. Wow. Uh, Damn, that kind of goes hard, though. Tusk poker with, uh, with a bow. Kind of goes hard. All right. Uh, another lump of coal. Another piggy bank. Okay, have that for later. Still nothing, really. All right, now I think we want to reroll for... Uh, we can go there. That should activate a little bit quicker, and then we'll do that for the life steal, 7% life steal. I guess that would be a better target for the life steal on the torch, since that should be hitting more. Okay, we got a pyromancer here, but not much uh, pyromantic activity, to be honest with you. Uh, they do have a lot of armor, thanks to that garlic going off so fast. Uh, oh, that's right. The stone badge also gives you armor. 
But you know what? I think we got him here thanks to our battle rage and fatigue. Oh, I want that spike collar so bad, but we just can't take it. Can't do it. Uh, let's do this on here to resist stuns and prevent critical hits. I think that's probably a good place for that to go. Ooh, yeah, the game is definitely making me a liar about the armor situation. But you know what? I'm okay with that because I would much rather, or about the bag space situation, I should say. I would much, much rather have the bag space and not need it than need it and not have it. Okay. Um, you know what? I feel like I feel like that kind of wants to be there. Or mm, I'd love for it to get both of those, but I don't think it can. That's not bad. That's at least three activators. Uh, plus the piggy bank, I guess. I don't really need the mana at this point. It's more just there because it was on sale. I could sell it later. Or if I find another broom on sale or something, it might, might come in handy for us. Uh, we'll keep it up a little bit faster. But so far, we're not doing great against this other berserker. Yeah, damn. All right. Down to one heart, but we are getting close to subclass round. Now, we have to hope that we find a subclass on sale or things are going to be rough for us. There we go. Man, I can't believe... We're getting a ton of... Ooh. I was just about to say we're getting a ton of bag space, but not good weapons and there's a good weapon okay we're gonna have to empty this is uh oh i don't know how i recover from this i need to win this next fight i have to win this next fight or the entire run is over uh but i don't know if that's possible what if we move that there and then slide everybody over a little bit can i get you there we go just like that and then you go there this goes there okay and then hmm that can go back there that goes there with that there. Slide everybody down so I can fit you back in, you back in, and you back in. Uh, I guess you just go there. And I don't think I get to use the torch with this don't think I get to do that. Uh, there's hammer, uh, but we definitely don't have the stamina for that. Okay. Uh, you know what? I might pull that out to get a little bit more stamina regeneration instead of resisting the stuns. Here goes nothing. I mean, this is a huge, huge, huge match for us, but I don't know if we're going to win against this build. Ooh, we just need one more good hit, though. Hey, we did win. Big ol' win. And now we have ourselves a busted blade. Unfortunately, that means we need even more bag space. So, uh, how are we going to do this? We need to reorganize yet again. Actually, maybe not. You, you, you go there. All right. Yeah, so we didn't get any of our subclasses on sale, so we're going to have to skip that. Uh, I mean, we're cheapskates today. We can't be just blowing our money on things on sale. It's insane. Okay. Uh, torch will now get sold for three, and then I need to make two back up, so we'll sell that for two, and we get to grab that. And then the magic lamp is on sale, so we point that right at our busted blade beautiful love that for us throw you back there and you get us some life gain 
and I'll put you there with the butt or with the lump of coal on the busted blade. Beautiful uh, spear. No, sorry, we do not want you. No, none of that. None of that. Ooh, rapier though. I don't think we have the stamina for it, to be honest with you. Put that up there. Uh, I think if we tried to do the rapier, we would get ourselves in trouble stamina wise. Man, it is such low though. That could be really good. It is on sale. Let's let's check it out. We get to high. Ugh, okay. Um, we got two hearts. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think. I kind of want to put it like here though, and then. There, no, okay, yeah, and then that can come here. You go there. And then, hmm. Cause I'd like to still have that there. But then, I got nowhere to put or I can't uh, put these two together and then have anywhere to put my wooden buckler put you there I guess hmm all right I think I just don't get to have the banana next to the blueberry hopefully Hopefully our stamina usage is okay. We're gonna give this a shot and see how it goes. Ooh, and going up against one of the strongest builds. Luckily he doesn't have any cheese yet, or this could be real bad. Oh, that was a big old hit. We might actually have this in the bag. Come on, yeah, fuck yeah, all right. Sweet, our fourth win, getting up there, uh, coming back from some rough, rough matches. Uh, let's see, we can slide this down. And if I sold one, two, actually this sells for three, that would just buy it out, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy that and slap you up there. Pull that up, that up, that up, that up. And then put that up there, bring that over. There we go. I still have chipped amethyst. I can put you there to get those combined. Uh, if here, it'll re remove a random buff. If I put it in the armor, it reduces healing. Uh, I'm not going to put this in because I think that will be worse for us stamina wise if we run into somebody with a uh, ooh go cheese goobert now that's a thing some on sale cheese and we get another banana oh I think we definitely need the banana that's two what can I sell I mean one and two I could sell those I don't know if I want to sell my forging hammer just yet. I could sell my buckler to get another haste bag there, which would let me fit another banana in. Hmm. Hmm. Is it worth it to get rid of the wooden buckler? I think it might be. I think it might be at this point so one two and three and then i will put you i kind of want to put you like there honestly and then do that and that or no hang on that doesn't make any sense because i'm trying to trying to keep my stamina up so there uh I'll throw you on there actually or no you were on there that's right and good to go 
Okay, let's get started. Hopefully we get some more on sale armor next time or maybe an on sale uh, The bigger the bigger shield man. We actually are taking out this pyromancer pretty quick One more good hit there we go And our stamina was pretty good the whole time I'll we'll have to take a closer look at it on the next pass, but uh, it Doesn't feel too bad on sale healing herbs I'll take, sure, sure. Uh, Capra Resilience on sale, sounds good to me. Let's do one more, nothing, damn, I would love for that holy armor to be on sale. Okay, let's slow it way down so we can keep an eye on our stamina as busted, busted sword and uh, our rapier are going off. Looks like we got down to 1.5 I saw there. And there's, ooh, 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 down to one. Okay, we're still good. We didn't actually run out of stamina ever. Beautiful. Up to six wins. Uh, I'll buy a whetstone. Nothing else I can sell it later. Do that to get some fanfare that will give us empower or remove stamina or remove uh, mana is uh, the other option there. Uh, I think, I think here, I don't think I want lightsaber. I don't get enough regeneration anywhere. I don't think it's going to help us. I do think I want the fanny pack. But then I have to sell three gold worth of stuff, uh, which isn't a huge deal. I could always sell this. Yeah, actually, I'll do that. I'll do whetstone and amethyst to buy fanny pack and then um hmm what do i put in the fanny pack then i almost feel like i want to do that to speed up the fanfare because then that'll get me extra um, extra empower and stuff and remove their stamina. Alternatively, I, I put it on the rapier or something, but I just worry if I do that, then that's what's going to kill our stamina. Got a couple more rerolls. Ooh, corrupted crystal. Yes, please add that to the busted blade. That'll get us extra damage. And then a heroic potion that is huge to find. Uh, especially since we think we may be running out of stamina at some point. So again, let's, uh, let's slow it on down so we can watch what's really happening here. We got another busted blade here. Uh, they're going with shaman mask. We weren't able to buy any of the subclasses cause nothing was on sale. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, good for them. We did get the first hit off. So that's great. We already got, oh my God, they hit real hard all at the end there. Fucking A, man. 158 critical damage with their busted blade. If they hadn't hit that crit, I feel like we win. Uh, yeah, I feel like we win that match. Dealt 39, and then... Uh, oh, you know what? We weren't even in battle rage yet, were we, when that happened? Wow, they skipped our battle rage. Did I miss that? Did I miss how that all worked? It's showing battle rage the whole time now, but I didn't ever go below half, did I? So below 90? Below 100 now? Yeah, they skipped my battle rage. Holy shit, I didn't even know you could do that. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, we'll buy that on sale. Frying pan, no. Anything else? Um, I kind of want, I kind of don't want the stamina bag at this point because I want my heroic potion to activate. There's another fanfare. That could be interesting. I don't really know where I would put it though. Uh, I mean, I could put it there, but then I lose my heroic potion. I kind of think I want to do something like that, actually, for this round. Throw you there. Uh, 
that way my heroic potion will get upgraded i get double fanfare in there so i can really take out anybody else's stamina Ooh, unfortunately this is not a build that cares about stamina hopefully we can take them out fast enough where it won't matter but we are taking on a lot of poison oh man oh man come on we need a big hit here come on let's finish her fuck yeah win number seven let's go okay now we can get that back in uh you go like that actually you know what this should really be like there something like that speed up the blueberry uh you can go on there you can fit in there could sell this and get another fanny pack that's probably a good idea actually because then i can slap that right there speed up both of my fanfares a little bit more all right now we start searching for the sales i, I will buy that just in case i'll buy that just in case uh i'll buy that just to have stuff to sell in case we need i maybe should have actually done that to get that four bag now that i think about it maybe should have all right this is going to be a tough one to beat these uh steel goober builds always go fucking hard they scale really quickly so uh it, at a moment's notice he could be doing a ton of damage luckily we took him out way before that happened but i mean his mana thirst and magic torch were already at 12 to 15 uh i guess he must oh you know what he didn't have anything activating it from the bottom so he's only activating it from the top damn that sucks for him for them uh, i mean we got our bust the blade up to doing 102 to 117 damage because of our empower uh empower uh, gives plus five per each so it is definitely important to be getting them in powers which is why i got these double fanfares here go ahead and buy a pineapple Ooh, more cheese uh all right so that bag space that sells for two buy that i can throw you over there and you go there okay we got a dragon on sale and a blood amulet i think we definitely go with the blood amulet right now uh the dragon egg could be cool for extra damage so i think maybe we do that and that but i got nowhere to put it so we're gonna have to uh cross our fingers and hope for some bag space that we can buy next round really wish i had bought that four bag that i saw not too long ago all right they've used up their crown hopefully we can keep gaining health quickly uh, with our cheese goobert uh there we go big hit there oh we got this we got this for sure come on come on finish him off busted blade oh no maybe we don't got this they have so many spikes no that was our last heart how could you damn it damn it damn it damn it we were doing so much damage with that too one crit would have just taken them out hard they must have healed so much healing no they didn't wow what was keeping them alive at the end there were we missing or what was happening uh i mean we were getting hit with spikes like crazy uh but they weren't they were building luck uh that was also reducing damage i guess for a while so that's something it's regenerating health form too uh, but yeah, I mean, it didn't seem like we were doing quite the damage we should have been. If we could have had some spikes where our battle to keep our battle rage lasting a little bit longer, I think that one would have been in the bag, <clears throat> so to speak. We'll jump into another one to see what we can make happen this time. 
Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Grab that. Grab that. Ooh, we got a whetstone here. So we'll get that. And I can also buy one of them. There we go. Not a bad starting bag, honestly. I think we would have done much better in that last round if we had some good starting rounds, get some early wins, which we definitely did not have on the last attempt. But there we go. First. First battle, first win this time. Grab that. Uh, you know what? I will put that on there so we get the extra armor. I do kind of want that leather bag, but I do also still have bag space. So I feel like I should just do that instead. Continue on. We got our spike. We're going to be making some spiked shields. Taking out Lululik uh, of Astora. Hopefully, anyway. Come on, come on. Yeah, just barely, but we got him. All right, progressing onwards. Um, We do still have bag space. Another, I will buy the pan just so we can sell it. So there's two, three, four, and then we can buy that and buy another shield. Hmm. I think I buy the sword. Wait, 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 wait. Need to switch this around. There we go. Uh, three to four. I know it's one to three, but it uses less stamina, and the uh, pan itself wasn't getting any food to buff it, and it's not necessarily likely I will. It may, be a, may have been a bad call, though, now that I see this. Yeah, it may have been a bad call. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. I'm going to switch that back, honestly. I'm going to pull that out. Put that back. 2.2. Yeah, I mean, in theory, they should be pretty equal, but in practice, I don't believe they are. Okay. That there, that, no, I can't do that. Uh, that can go there, that can go there. Hmm. Well, you know what? I can put that there. And then... That there, and that there. Yeah, I don't think I can bring that with me. Ooh, a flute, though. I do like the sounds of having a flute around. Maybe I sell you back, and then I buy a flute, which will give me some extra armor. And increase my activations with Goobert. All right, LYH, let's see what you can do here. Hopefully not as much damage as I can do. So far, so good. Yeah, we got you. We got you on that one. Win number three. <gasps> Rainbow badge on sale. Yes. Oh my God, that is great. So this will offer us items from every class in the game. And also after seven seconds, we'll get one of every buff. This item is awesome. Which then means we get short bow. Holy shit, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Uh, short bow has really low stamina costs and quick activation, plus it's ranged. So things like the shields won't affect us. And an onset. God, this is the best trip to the freaking store ever. Holy hell. Things are turning around for us. All right, let's 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 watch us take on this pyromancer. Hopefully we can take them out pretty quickly. 
uh, before their heat gets up too too much with chili pepper. So far, so good. We haven't entered our battle rage yet. There it is. Uh, and finishes them off. Perfect. Win number four. Climbing those ranks. Ooh, and we get another. Uh, you know what? I don't think it'll show me. Yeah, okay. I'll need to go to Ranger. Uh, Tusk Poker. Where are you? Tusk Poker. A 50% chance to gain a spike. So I could either make Wooden Buckler or Tusk Poker. Um, Wooden Buckler is almost going to guarantee me three spikes. Yeah, I mean, maybe I do. Uh, obviously, it depends on the, my ability to find bag space. I will buy you. And keep rolling by that. I do kind of want that bag. Hmm. Don't know what I sell, though. Claws of Attack wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea, but I'd need two Walrus Tusks. I'd sell that for one. Another uh, Buckler for two. That gives me three, but then I'm still one short of being able to buy the bag. I guess I could reserve it. it gives me less of a chance of sales then. All right, let's... Uh, Let's progress onwards. I do want that bag. I'm going to be really mad if I go into the freaking shop and there's an on-sale bag that I could have just bought and not even worried about it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought we had that one. I thought we had that one. Okay. Uh, come on. Give me some on-sale. There we go. There's that on-sale bag that I should definitely have just waited for instead of freaking being impatient all right uh i will buy that also and then hmm. i think i'm gonna sell sell the gloves and the buckler to buy that bag and then make the tusk poker i think that's what i'm gonna do Oh, uh, nothing that I can buy. Damn it. All right, we do still have four gold, but I'm going to save it. Uh, not spend two per reroll. At least not yet. At least not at this juncture. Come on, let's take this Reaper out. We're getting poisoned. We can't just let this Reaper poison us. Oh, but we are. But we so are. Damn it. I mean, they had double Guberts going on. Hey, and we get a subclass this round. Fuck yeah. And we'll put that there. Hang on to whetstone. What else do we have going on here? Draconic orb. Uh, it's not going to do a ton for us, but it will do something. Grab you. And... Damn. Ooh, another potion belt on sale. And a box of riches. Love that. So I can move that up top, move that there, and then, yeah, nice. That actually works out rather well. Okay, get started. And now that we have Tusk Poker, we should be getting more spikes. Uh, although Excalibur builds are always kind of scary. Not this one though, we're taking them down. Fuck yeah. All right, five wins. Keep it rolling. Healing herbs, I'll take them. Another bag spot on sale. I'll take it. Uh, hmm. And, ooh, Jinx Torquilla. I think maybe I sell sand and chipped amethyst to get enough cash for that guy. Uh, hmm. I would like to get everything down there. I guess I could do that. Hmm.
So that's got to cool down too, doesn't it? Yeah, 2.5. Does this work with any 5%? Yeah, so that it would work with that, but can't get everything either. No matter what I do, it looks like. All right. Well, I think then I want to speed up the flute over the pan. So let's go with that route. Let's go with that route. Tusk poker activates pretty dang quick now. Uh, but we are taking a lot of poison. That's okay, though. We're healing a ton. We took out that Reaper no problem. Win number six. Oh, and we got a bow and arrow now. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... So I think I want to sell the pan. There's... And then I can sell the chip topaz and buy this haste bag. That's step one. Step two, I'll move that there. Step three, I move that there. Step four, I do that. And step five, I do that. And then we slide that guy right in there. And this guy goes right there. If only I could go like one more up like that. I guess I could. I guess I could actually. It occurs to me. I can just do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. And then actually, you know what? You go there and you go there. Because then that gets both of those. Perfect. Uh, all right. And then you go there. And a fancy motherfucking fencing rapier. Oh. Uh, I can't afford it yet. Unless I sell this. My other concern, though, is if I do that, I'm going to really put myself in a uh, stamina deficit. We're low right now, but I think putting this in is going to make us high stamina for sure. So I'm going to keep that reserved and we're going to start and we're going to see, see what happens here. Going up against a pyromancer. They're going to get two lives. They're coming back to death after we kill them because of their dark lantern there. Uh, but we should be scaling pretty well. I mean, our bow and arrow is doing lots of damage now. Uh, we just have to be able to take them out one more time. Come on, one more. Oh, that got close. They only had 11 health left. Uh, man, I was so caught up in the battle, I wasn't even paying attention to the freaking stamina. Damn it. Uh, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to buy it. We're going to hope we get bag space on sale. Ooh, dragon on sale. So we'll buy you. And I think right here is where we go ahead and do that to get that back in there. Because we definitely want to have that stamina at our disposal going forward. So see, this is where uh, having the forging hammer kind of screws us. Uh, because Shield of Valor will get uh, hit more for stamina. Even though it's a free stamina cost, it will be taking away our stamina every time it hits that shield. But so far, so good. I mean, we are get, like running out of stamina, but we're winning still. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, we might be screwed now. This might be where we get screwed. I think definitely think it's got that shield is contributing hugely. So we might want to pull out our forging hammer and not use it for the time being. I could always. Hmm. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I could just do. Mm. Do that and keep that out. Okay. 
What else? Ooh, on sale heart container. Yes, please. On sale carrot. I will take as well. Uh, I think I need two to make a carrot goober. I do. Uh, so I'll put you up there, put you back. I need a bag now. Um, not that bag. That bag would do nicely. I just don't know what I'm going to sell to get it. Ooh, that sells for four. It's not really doing much for me. So we'll sell that. Throw you there and throw you right there. All right. You know what? I could move you there, slide you, and put you there. That's probably better. Put you there. There we go. Okay. All right, put you there. Keep the forging hammer out and get started. We have two tries left. We've gotten seven wins so far. Come on. Foxfire, you gotta be going down. We're not putting up with any of your foxy bullshit. Yeah, take them out. Fuck yeah. Win number eight, only two more needed. And we are certainly getting there. One, two, three, I could get another haste bag. Um, what would I haste though? Hmm. I would love the heroic potion, but it's not on sale. Spear, no, that's not gonna do it. I should have bought it just so I could sell it. Shit. Didn't think about that. I could have bought another bag section here. Oh, well, too late now. Uh, I don't necessarily think... Oh, you know what? Mm. It could combine that with Bella. It would make Belladonna's, though. I don't think Belladonna's would really... Oh, Ranger. Would really help us that much. Yeah, so... This would need to do eight damage, which it's not going to have happen. I could point it at the rapier instead. That's actually a much better idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. So I will, I'll put you there. Uh, we'll grab this, grab this and grab this. Slide everybody over a couple. Actually, no, you go, you go there, you go there. Okay. You go, you hang out there. Actually there, there. Beautiful. You go back there. Uh, you go there. And you go there. You go there. Okay, you can still fit there. All right, nice. So our bow and arrow should get converted to Belladonna's. Our brass knuckles is now hitting the bow and arrow and the fencing rapier. Jinx Torquia is getting everything that's activating our Goobert there. Our carrot is next to our Goobert, so we got an easier time if we find another carrot on sale. I am going to go ahead and buy these boots as well because they're going to give us an extra luck, armor, and empowered once we drop below 70% health, which is almost guaranteed at some point in the fight anyway. Uh, and you know what? I think... No, I can't. I was going to say I'll move this in front, but I don't think I would be able to get, um, get my brass knuckles in there too. I almost feel like these should be switched so that the bow and arrow and the fencing rapier are inside of the duffel bag. Like something like that, kind of. That seems like a better idea. All right. Let's go ahead and get started there and see how it goes. Slow it down so we can watch and actually see what's going on. Uh, so far, we got them taking more poison damage than us. 
but uh, they've got a bunch of cards going on, so they kind of build late. Oh, but they're out of cards. One more good hit, and they're gone. No, they took us out. They stayed alive long enough. Fuck. We just couldn't finish the job. Uh, it got real close there. I mean, they were down to 15. What happened? We were out of stamina. Then we missed an attack. Oh, my God. And then two, we regenerated. They dealt three. Our brass knuckles hit. Man, it was so close. And we were out of stamina again. We lost because of stamina. Oh, two different instances where stamina would have freaking saved our bacon. Uh, oh, that's shitty. That's so shitty. All right, we'll put it there. We did run out of stamina, so we can't, uh, we can't really justify speeding stuff up. Stamina sack might not be a bad call. You know what? I am going to do that. Um, we could sell. That's only sells for two. That would make it three. Yeah, I don't think we can get up to enough for a stamina sack. Ooh, fanfare. Definitely grab that. And then, you know what? It doesn't matter where these are. So I will move those like that and get my pestilence flask there. All right, beautiful. Love it. All right, let's get started and see how this goes now. We've only got one try left, but we do have eight wins. Let's see if we can take out a clover build. Uh, they do not have 20 clover or 20 luck. That's what makes the mega clover activate. So that is a huge deal for us. Yeah, we take them out. If they had gotten to 20, that would have been a much harder fight. Much, much harder. Let's throw you there. All right. And then Demonic Flask. Hmm. I don't know if that really... I guess we buy it to sell it. I don't think it really will make too much of a difference in our bag. Uh, you know what? I could just sell it right now. It's a self that sells for two. Uh, yeah, I will sell that right now, actually, to then do that. Um, and put you there and you there. Okay, what else can we find on sale? A dagger? I don't think that's going to really help us out as much as we would want for the same reason as a forging hammer. I will buy it just to go... One, two, uh, was I up one? I think I was up one, but I don't remember. Um, do I want dragon skin boots? I mean, I guess, but I don't, I don't think it's worth taking the loss for. All right. So I'm at two, three, I'm going to go ahead and sell these, sell that. I don't know why didn't I just sell the bag? I can't even fit the bag in. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I don't think I want to do that now. Uh, you know what? One more. Yeah, I can't. All right. Damn, why didn't I sell the bag piece? Don't know what I was thinking. They're usually so valuable. That's what I was thinking, I think. All right, uh, so this Pyromancer is attacking fast, already up to 28 heat. We really need to keep them from getting to 40 because of their friendly fire. So far, so good. Oh, no, they get to 40. That means they get 15 regeneration, but thankfully we had them low enough health, so we took them down anyway, and that does it. We made it to 10 wins. We beat Backpack Battles only buying on-sale items, so it's true. You can be a Chiefskate and play back Backpack Battles. Uh, Fencing Rapier, doing work, spikes coming in, clutch, thanks to the Tusk Poker. I mean, really, the ultimate uh, MVP here is the Rainbow Badge, letting us get some of the stuff that we couldn't normally get as a Berserker. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we found that on sale. And then getting lucky enough to get the Brass Knuckles on sale as well. 
Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to go into survival and see how far we get. But I'm just happy to get to that, uh, get to that 10 spot so that we can claim the victory. All right. Uh, probably we'll put you there. Gets me a little bit more stamina. Nothing to buy there. Nothing there. Ooh. Give me that there crown. Can I put you anywhere that's going to really help me? 2.5. That is every three. So it's probably a better idea. But then I lose where the pestilence flask is in two bags there. Um... Yeah, I think you're okay there, probably. Do one reroll. Yeah, I'm not going to do another bow and arrow either. I don't necessarily need it to sell, so I'll just keep it there. That's okay. Ooh, okay. Going up against a shaman build. That's going to be... Those claws are going to start attacking real fast. I mean, they're already every three quarters of a second. Look at all the empower they're getting, but that's okay. We're keeping them stunned. Keeping them down low. Oh, no, but when the, they get to 30... Uh, they're going to gain a bunch of buffs. They did. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're coming back hard. And this looks like it's going to be our first loss of survival mode. 23 in power they ended up with. I mean, we hung in there pretty damn good, honestly, for going up against that build. That was pretty impressive, I'll say. Uh, hmm. Another rapier. Do we just go silly with it for the last round? Um, I don't know. I think uh, I could move you and you and put you there. But then we definitely got to get rid of Tusk Poker for sure. For sure. Or I could get rid of Belladonna's Whisper, I suppose. Just throw that there. Do that. You go up there. Uh, you go back there. You go back there. And then... This speeds up... That... That can fit there, that can fit there, that can fit there. Uh, I suppose I don't really need the whetstone, but might as well throw it in. And... Oh, i uh, put that there. So then I can fit more stuff. You know, maybe I just put that there. We just go the double rapiers and not even worry about stamina at all. Put you there. You know what? I could actually put you there. Nope, nope, nope. And then you go there. 2.23. Okay, so yeah, you should go there then instead. And then you go there and you go there. All right. That looks pretty good. We have some gold for rolling. Uh, we have two rounds to survive. Ooh. Um, could put you there. Okay. I don't think mana orb really does much for us, but no harm in grabbing it anyway, right? Do that. Yeah, nothing on sale. Okay. We'll get started. See what happens. Oh, this is going to be a rough one against a dragon nest build with sun armor and sun shield. Oh my God, this is going to be bad. Uh, and Gingerbread Jerry 
Oh my god, you're gonna have so much empowered and regen by the end. Talk about a fucking high roll here that they ended up with. Wow. Lucky sons of bitches. Come on, rapiers. Put in work. Battle rage is raging. We got lots of empowered, but I don't think we're coming back from this one. Definitely not. 69 poison. No, 75. Sorry, we ended up with. Fuck, man. Oh, I think we could have stood a chance against uh, some normal ass builds. But man, those two survival mode fights were insane. Still put in a lot of damage. I mean, 300 damage with fencing rapier, 136 with the other fencing rapier, 65 with our brass knuckles. But yeah, I mean, you just you can't can't stand up to some shit like this. I mean, that's that's some bonkersness. Uh, Gingerbread Jerry was just giving him max health the whole time uh, because they got a bunch of mana from Sapphire Whelp and luck from all their Emerald Whelps to fuel Gingerbread Jerry, plus obviously the heat from being a Pyromancer. So yeah, that is... Talk about the ideal situation to end up with uh, that for a unique item. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know I did. I can't honestly a little bit surprised we were able to uh, take down bat backpack battles uh, with only on sale items, but super excited we were able to do it. Uh, so if you did enjoy that video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day. So there's always something to watch. If you have any comments on this build or any other builds you'd like to see me try, please go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any interest in interacting further with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the comment or in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord, early access to the videos I post and a shout out in every single one of my videos like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. You are awesome. To everyone else out there who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, you're awesome as well. So thank you. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you then. Bye.